What's up everyone for the Winitachi here you know what it is bringing you another live reaction video today on a brand new hero that is going to be getting released for Heroes of the Storm. Um, I'm not too sure on a lot of the background information on this hero. Uh, this is a new hero to me and I'm interested in seeing this cinematic. If you guys want to see me play Heroes of the Storm on this channel please post down below in the comment section so I do know I get some interest. I am very interested in getting back into it. I used to play it um, when it first got released, which was a few years back. But without further ado, let's go ahead and check this out. Imperius, Archangel of Valor and the greatest warrior in all of creation. I wouldn't, Throughout the eternal I wouldn't say conflict, all of Imperius creation. Imperius valiantly led assaults against the deepest regions of the burning hells. Okay, so this is definitely the other. rigid moral compass often invoked conflict. Yet despite his stark sense of morality, there is no greater defender of righteousness. If it was a game that I played, I would have been pissed off. Now, but it's a good thing it's a game I don't play. The Nexus, Imperius has arrived to purge he the looks really cool. Once and for all. Looks more of a paladin than a warrior. The charge as an technically the same thing though, once you're a, a, a warrior of light, which technically he is. His first ability, Celestial Charge, works as a great tool Ooh. for initiation. After Weird animation at the end, but the first part was cool. forward and impales all enemy heroes, stunning them for the duration of his channel. Celestial Charge is also effective as an escape and can be used to move through terrain and over enemy heroes. Imperius's W ability, Solarian's Fire, releases a wave of fire that deals damage to all enemies in its path. Heroes hit by the frontal of the cone attack, simple, and take increased damage. This can be used to effectively engage your target or to prevent enemies from escaping your wrath. Seems very weak thus far. Molten armor, his E ability, provides Imperius with damage and self sustain. When cast, Imperius becomes shrouded in flames that lash out at nearby enemies. Doesn't deal that much damage, and healing him for the damage dealt. Molten armor alternates between all enemies in range and is most effective when his enemies are isolated. Imperius's trait, Valorous Brand, marks enemy heroes whenever they are damaged by the Archangel's basic abilities. Enemies can be marked up to three times, once for each ability. Imperius's next basic <clears throat> attack will deal increased damage for each mark and consume all Now that explains some of it, but not all of it. His first heroic ability, Angelic Armaments, provides Imperius with some extra protection. When cast, he gains a large shield for a few seconds. So he becomes a if tank. If the shield is not Pretty destroyed much. in that time, the ability can be recast as a skill shot that will rain Angelic Weaponry down upon his foes. That's cool. Imperius's second heroic is Wrath of the Angiris. After a brief delay, Imperius charges forward, pulls an enemy hero up into the air, and slams them into the ground at high velocity, stunning them on impact. While in the air, Imperius can control the landing point, ensuring proper oh. when he touches. Oh, that guy's freaking lit, no though. No fiend can escape judgment from the Archangel of Valor. <coughs> Imperius is most effective when his abilities are used in proper combination. Engage with Solarian's fire, stun with Celestial Charge, and chase with Molten Armor. Blaze of Glory, his level 7 talent creates a delayed explosion after using Solarian's fire, providing some extra damage for those skilled at executing his combo. With great sustain and dueling capabilities, Imperius excels as a solo laner. Make use of his abilities to bully enemy That's heroes. That's my type of style though, I go in lane. solo. Due to his need to go all in, Imperius is countered by enemies. Tracer, no! And Kitem, such Yeet. as Tracer, Falstad, or Orphea. Orphea is actually one of the heroes Imperius's I really want to play. Imperius' kit is particularly strong at singling out and dispatching <coughs> enemy heroes. Oof. At level 20, the Valorous Pursuit talent furthers that by allowing Imperius to teleport to any target that has been marked by Valorous Brand. The ability has unlimited range, ensuring that troublesome foes are unable to escape their fate. At long last, Imperius, the aspect of valor, has descended upon the Nexus. Let the wicked beware, for there's nowhere in creation that this angel fears to tread. Make sure to leave us a comment and follow Heroes of the Storm around the web, and we'll see you in the Nexus. Tremble before the might of heaven! 
Alright, so not bad, not bad. Uh, it's a new hero for Heroes of the Storm. Again, I don't play that game too much on this channel. I actually don't have any videos on this channel except videos like this and update videos. I am interested in bringing it to the channel though. So again, please leave a thumbs up, comment down below that you're interested in uh, seeing some uh, gameplay uh, on Heroes of the Storm. Um, I, again, I'm very interested in playing. Um, I used to play back in the day. But we got Imperius now. Uh, it seems like a weak hero in my opinion. I believe they just released it because Diablo is absolute shit at the moment. So uh, they're trying to boost up the Diablo morale in the Blizzard Entertainment world. But it's not working in my opinion. Because that hero looked really, really weak and boring to play. But that's just my opinion again. Thank you all very much for tuning in. Peace out.